Well, farming is such a big industry in our area, and farmland is really needed, and we need to preserve it. And joining us today to tell us about a program that they have coming up next week, it's actually on August 11th, we have Amanda Wishmeyer. She is Vice President of West Central Ohio Land Conservancy, and thanks for coming today. Well, thank you, Holly, for having me. Okay, it's called Preserving Ohio Country. Yeah. So why did you guys think that we needed a program and, and to talk about farmland and, and the country and where we live in? Sure. Well, the organization that I'm with, the West Central Ohio Land Conservancy, um, we're basically a land trust that works with landowners, whether it's farmers or maybe just someone that has a special natural area they like to see preserved um, into perpetuity forever. And so, um, though we've been around since 2006, we've just had a hard time getting our name out there. Um, and it just seems like, especially with everything that's going on in Ukraine, um, it kind of brought to light that yeah, our farmland is pretty special. We have some of the best farmland in the United States. Um, and so, yeah, we have options in helping preserve it. All right, very good. Okay, so August 11, 6 to 8 p.m. at yeah. Lauer Historical Farm. What yeah. a great place to host oh, that. it's beautiful. Yeah, right? it Perfect. certainly is. Yeah. What kind of things will be discussed? I mean, what will the, the evening be like if people attend? Sure. Well, we want it to be entertaining. We, I think we all deserve a fun, fun night out, not so serious. But um, so we have um, TV and radio personality, Dan Wilson who, for those of you who know him, is pretty funny. He is a funny guy. Yes. We'll give him that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got a great, you know, background. Um, so he'll kind of give us his life story and then tell us um, kind of how he's become involved in Ohio agriculture. Um, and then he's going to facilitate a panel discussion um, with a few, a few um, elected officials. From okay. Yes, yeah, so we have like Bob Cup, Susan yeah. Manchester, and Beth Seibert. So. Yeah. Is it going to be like question and answer too, or will they talk about their farm history and how they think it's so important? Yeah, or? they were definitely selected because, the, I mean, they're local and, yeah, they all come from a pretty important farm background. And so Dan will be asking the questions. Um, depending on time, maybe we'll open it up, but I think primarily Dan will be asking the questions. Okay, so is the goal then for some of the people that attend, decide that they want to preserve their farmland or I mean what do you hope yeah. the goal is well, for when people attend? Even if, you do, if you aren't a farmer but you support local agriculture you come from a family farm you might not be the farmer um, we would love to get members you know if you want to join our organization um, we could always you know you we're all volunteer um, but then also we hope that farmers will it, it's a big decision so at least start to consider it uh, it's not a decision you make you know from one program but if it plants a seed and you know you, you start to think about preserving your farm that's that's right, a yeah. that's a win for us well and and sometimes you know for many years it's been like a family farm and sometimes you know that that chain might break or something like that but it, it, it's as you mentioned it's so important to still to still have sure. crops to still have livestock and stuff so hopefully and once and once a farm is divided and either sold off for housing or industry i mean you just have to have a feel what's the best for your family and what's best for your farm. If you put in generations of hard work into your land, it would be hard to see it divided up and mm -hmm. sold off. All right. Uh, six to eight. So also come hungry. You're going to have a food truck there, right? Yeah, we have ABC <laughs> concessions. Um, they're going to have sandwiches and refreshments. And yeah, um, the first 50 to register get a free meal ticket for the evening. So registration's not required, but um, it's always nice to know about how many seats to put out. So, right, yeah. But yeah, we'd love people to to turn out. Mm -hmm. Well, and register and get yourself yeah. a free meal. That'll be yep. good. But as you mentioned, though, you don't have to register. You yep. can just show up on the 11th. And we're going out to a uh, historical Lauer Farm by the um, Park District. Mm -hmm. So I assume a lot of people have, have come together and said, yeah, this is a really important program and, you, and you've gotten some support. Sure. Um, well, we definitely have, um, we'll have, a, um, like, ODNR will be there, Soil and Water will be there. Um, Johnny Appleseed Park, mm -hmm. um, Tyler Black is actually, he sits on our board. So, so yeah, there's lots of organizations that support us and hopefully this program will um, help us become a little more right, well-known. Yeah. Kind of start, as you said, plant the seed and let yeah. it grow and get some things going. All right, yeah. well, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you very much, Holly. All right, don't go away. We'll look at the weather forecast next.